So I have been challenged to the ultimate pool championship. <laughs> Gary and got a mini pool table for one of his late Christmas gifts and he's really loving it and so we're gonna play but he did beat me last night so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so no guarantees that I'm gonna do any good but anyway let's play pool we don't know you might <laughs> I don't know let's, let's, see. let's see I'll try yep Gary's gonna do the the ball breaking <laughs>
I'm not 100% sure. One ball. My turn, huh? Uh, hit all of these ones, see what happens. Oh, you can hit it. Nothing! I caught eight ball and bottom left. Ooh. Dang it! Almost. Oh, oh I gave you a good shot. I can do it. Oh, oh, my oh my god, can you imagine if I got all three? Ah! Uh. Uh, uh. my rant video <laughs> I ended up emailing Pizza Hut and um, just letting them know that like whatever I wasn't happy I wasn't like rude about it or anything but I just let them know that the experience wasn't the best and it was my first time ordering there and whatever so I ended up getting a coupon for a free pizza so I'm having pizza for lunch today <laughs> let's hope that they made it right and that there's no cheese on it because with my luck Thank God there's no cheese on it. <laughs> so I just I just ordered a veggie pizza because I was gonna go ahead and try to order the Beyond Meat, but of course, because it was a free pizza, you can't get the Beyond Meat option. So whatever, I just ordered like all the veggies and I'm gonna throw on some cheese and then throw it in the microwave. So check out my veggie pizza, looks good. Looks delicious, it's got, you know, everything. I put every veggie that they have on it, even olives, which I don't even, uh, I don't like olives, but I had them once on pizza not long ago and they didn't taste bad. So I was like, oh, I guess I like olives on pizza because it didn't bother me on the pizza. I just don't like olives like out of the jar or out of the can or whatever. So anyway, I ordered myself a root beer and I got Luisa Pepsi. I actually thought these were the 20, 20 liter. I guess they're 20 ounce. I, for some reason, I thought they were the large ones, but um. Um, that's why I only got one for me and one for Luis because I but I thought it was gonna be the large one so I could share it with the kids But I guess not 
But anyway, I'm gonna have pizza for lunch and enjoy this. So lunch was delicious, but this morning I threw together a chili, a very easy chili. Gary's making a lot of noise, sorry. <laughs> Gary's making a lot of noise with those tostadas. But yeah, I made a quinoa chili this morning. So that's what Gary is having for dinner. I'm not ready for dinner yet. I'm still full from the pizza, so just thought I'd show you what he's eating. I basically threw some kidney beans and black beans in the Instant Pot. I actually had two cans of vegetarian chili that my mom had bought for us, and I just threw those. So I'll show you what, what it looks like, the cans here soaking. It's these uh, stag chili. My mom bought these for us, so I just threw those in the pot with the, the beans I made, and then I threw in a can of corn, threw in some extra seasonings and some quinoa, and that's it, it was really easy. So I love an easy, throw together meal. <laughs> it's the best thing. That's why I love the Instant Pot because I just throw everything in the kitchen in there and it turns out into something delicious, at least in my experience because, you know, I'm good at just throwing crap together and it turning out pretty dang good. So thankfully, uh -huh. thank, thankfully I have that skill. You should get a reward for that. You know, I learned that from my dad, how to just throw stuff together anyway. Anyway, you guys, uh, we just chilling. I'm watching, I was just watching Sabrina, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina because season four is now available on Netflix. If you didn't know, run and go watch that because it's a really good show. Um, and I was just waiting for Luis to get home from work so that we can decide what we're doing tonight. He really wanted me to go through my jewelry stuff and start getting like back into my crafting. But I really have to be like in the mood and in the mind frame to craft and I don't know, my, I'm just not quite there yet to start. Cause once I start, I know I'm gonna become like obsessed and I'm not gonna wanna do anything except like making jewelry again. Um, this is one of my necklaces that I made a while back. Looks kinda darker weird on top of the green shirt, but the beads are actually blue and like grayish. Looks really pretty on like bare skin, but this shirt kinda changes the color a little bit. But anyway, this is the kind of stuff that I usually make. I don't know, I really have to be in the mood to do it, so he's probably gonna have to like drag me up the stairs and throw me in the office. I'm, I'm happy that I have the craft room again, but yeah, I have to be in the mind frame to actually do it. And also I have like, I don't like being told what to do. I'm very stubborn. So it's like if someone tells me to do something, I'm not gonna do it until I feel like it's my idea. <laughs> so I'm stupid that way, I'm very stubborn. So yeah, I'm just kind of bored. I've been kind of bored today. I've just been like, uh, you know, playing pool with Gary and watching Netflix. Uh, that's it, eating food, watching YouTube. <laughs> I haven't even really, I don't know, the days gone by really fast and I feel like I haven't even actually accomplished anything except taking a shower. And I mean, throwing that together was really easy so that wasn't even a big deal, but I don't know, I have a hard time just relaxing and not feeling like my day is wasted by relaxing, which I don't know why, because I work really hard during the week and my job is very physical and demanding. Maybe that's why, because I'm always go, 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 go at work. So when I'm at home trying to relax, I feel like I'm wasting my day and I feel like bad. I feel like I need to get up and do something. That's pretty much why I'm in the kitchen most of the time cooking, because I feel like I'm wasting my life if I'm not doing something. So when I get bored, I cook a lot of the time but I guess I need to get a life, I need a hobby. I guess I do need to go back to making my jewelry because that was like my one hobby. But yeah, sorry, I'm just rambling. <laughs> just trying to share my day with you guys because I've been pretty bored today, but I guess that's it. So, <laughs> hope I didn't bore you to death though. Thanks for watching my little broccoli bites and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.